the fate of Queen Consort Sophia's diamond tiara could serve as the foundation for an adventurous film plot. The storyline would be replete with court intrigues, conflicts between royal families, a tale of love and, of course, the mysterious disappearance of the jewel. By the genre's law, a grateful audience would anticipate a happy end, but more on that later. So, the first possessor of this grand diamond tiara of intricate design was Queen Sophia, born Princess Sophia of Prussia. She was the daughter of Princess Victoria, the Princess Royal of Great Britain, and German Emperor Frederick III. The origin of the ornament remains genuinely unknown. Historians speculate that the tiara might have been a wedding gift to Sophia from one of her numerous royal relatives, possibly her mother or brother. The granddaughter of Queen Victoria married Crown Prince Constantine, the future King of Greece, in 1889. Family life blessed the couple with six children. The relationship between the spouses was, as commonly put nowadays, open. King Constantine had numerous extramarital affairs, with Countess Paula Ostein being his official mistress. Queen Sophia took her husband's escapades in stride, as she herself engaged in affairs on the side. Court gossips alleged that the birth of Princess Catherine of Greece and Denmark in 1913 was the result of her mother's extramarital liaison. However, Constantine acknowledged paternity, officially recognizing Catherine as his daughter. Let's momentarily set aside the intra-family dynamics of the royal couple. Let's revisit the destiny of the ornament. Sophia wore the tiara both as a hereditary princess and as a queen. The ornament represents an intriguing blend of modern and traditional styles. The central elements of the diadem are large rectangular diamonds surrounded by traditional floral motifs. Sophia typically paired the tiara with long strands of pearls. After her death, the tiara remained in the possession of her daughter, Elena, Crown Princess of Romania for some time. Elena utilized the diamond crown for a series of official portraits. In 1938, Crown Prince Paul V, the third son of Sophia and Constantine, gifted the tiara to his wife, Frederica of Hanover, who first wore it on their wedding day. It became Queen Frederica's beloved diadem for over three decades. After the overthrow of the Greek monarchy, the tiara vanished from sight for almost half a century. The crown belonged to Queen Frederica even in exile, although she gifted other tiaras to Queen Anne Marie. Most jewelry enthusiasts speculated that the tiara was either sold in the last years of Frederica's life or after her death in 1981. Despite this, persistent rumors circulated that the ornament was still within the family. However, Queen Anne Marie never wore her mother-in-law's diamond tiara. The mystery was finally unraveled almost half a century later. It occurred on January 15, 2012, at the Christiansborg Palace in Copenhagen. During the celebration of Queen Margrethe's Ruby Jubilee, the magnificent diamond tiara adorned the head of Princess Maria Olympia of Greece, the wife of Crown Prince Paul. The enormous tiara nearly eclipsed the diminutive princess, but that's not the point. The fact that the ornament belongs to the Greeks became the main theme of the evening. As for the reason why the tiara vanished for so many years, it remains an unresolved mystery of the Greek royal court. But there was a diamond tiara with a less favorable ending. Queen Victoria presented her eldest daughter, Victoria, the royal princess, with a diamond corsage that could be worn as a necklace or headpiece when she married the crown prince of Germany in 1858. Diamond spikes, topped with diamonds, on the base of large diamond claws, are either Indian or Brazilian diamonds. After the wedding, the couple had to wait several years before they finally became Emperor and Empress of Germany, albeit for only three months, as Emperor Frederick died of cancer. He was succeeded by their eldest son, Kaiser Wilhelm II, who ultimately initiated World War I. Empress Frederick gave the tiara to her third daughter, Princess Sophia, during her wedding to Crown Prince Constantine of Greece. In 1896, the personal maid of the Crown Princess, accompanying Princess Sophia, wrote a message to the Empress about the absence of jewels at her cousin, Princess Maud of Wales, and Prince Charles of Denmark's wedding. Queen Sophia, in particular, wore the tiara in a portrait with her grandson, King Michael of Romania, as well as on her stamp profile. Never a favorite like her other diamond tiara, Queen Sophia managed to retain this ornament during frequent periods of exile. 
After Queen Sophia's death in 1932, she left the diamond tiara to her second daughter, Princess Irene, who previously wore the tiara at the wedding of Prince Philip of Hesse and Princess Mafalda of Savoy in 1925, as well as in several portraits in the 1930s. Around the time of the wedding of Prince George, Duke of Kent, and Greek Princess Marina in 1934. Princess Irene later wore the tiara at the baptism of the Neapolitan Prince in 1937 and at the wedding of Crown Prince Paul of Greece and Princess Frederica of Hanover in 1938. Princess Irene wore the diamond at her wedding in 1939 to Prince Aimon, Duke of Spoleto, the cousin of the Italian king, who replaced his brother as the Duke of Aosta in 1942 and died in South America in 1947. Their son became the Duke of Aosta and remains so to this day, despite the end of the Italian monarchy in 1946. As a member of the Italian royal family and the short-lived Queen Consort of Croatia, Princess Irena wore the tiara at various royal events. During her internment by the Nazis during World War II, the tiara was wrapped in newspaper and stored under her chauffeur's bed in Rome. Princess Irene, Duchess of Aosta, retained her diamond tiara during frequent exiles and many trials, wearing it at the wedding ball of her cousin Prince Philip of Greece and Princess Elizabeth in 1947, at the wedding ball of Archduke Robert of Austria and Princess Margarita of Savoy Aosta in 1953, at the wedding of Prince Alexander of Yugoslavia and Princess Maria Pia of Italy in 1955. After Princess Irene's death in 1974, the tiara was inherited by her son, the Duke of Aosta, who sold it at Christie's auction in 1979. The current fate of the tiara is unknown. I cannot tell you about the incredible brooch pearl corsage with its richly adorned diamond element and large round pearl to which any of one, three or five pearls can be suspended, has an unknown origin, although it likely originates from the brooch corsage with pearls and diamonds given as a wedding gift by Queen Elizabeth of Prussia. After the death in 1901, Empress Frederick's pearl corsage brooch was inherited by her daughter, Queen Sophia of Greece, who was often depicted wearing the brooch with the diamond tiara and the tiara with the diamond circle in the 1900s and 1910s. Although she did not wear it publicly after the Greek royal family went into exile in 1917 and then in 1922, the fate of Empress Frederick's pearl corsage brooch after Queen Sophie's death remains unknown, but it is quite possible that it could have been acquired either by Queen Marie, her first cousin, Grand Duchess Elena Vladimirovna, Princess Nicholas of Greece, her niece-in-law, or Princess Marina, Duchess of Kent, her niece. From the Greek royal family at any time between the 1920s and the mid-1950s, when Princess Alexandra of Kent began wearing an identical pearl corsage brooch. Queen's first cousin, Princess Alexandra, was an industrious member of the royal family for over 65 years and often wore the pearl corsage brooch with the Kent festoon tiara when presiding over the celebration of Nigeria's independence in 1960. She suspended five pendants in the 1960s and 1970s, though they became rarely visible in later years with the American State Banquet last year when she wore her Ogilvy tiara being the latest appearance to date. However, this gives us hope that we will continue to see Empress Frederick's pearl corsage brooch for many years to come. In December 2022, Christie's in Paris will auction the pearl and diamond corsage brooch as former property of Empress Maria Theresa of Austria, featuring an almost identical diamond frame, but with different pearls making it unlikely that this piece is Empress Frederick's pearl corsage brooch. And which of the jewelry you like the most? Write in the comments.